Oh. Let's go on an adventure. Everybody and welcome back to the Build It Vlog. Today we're coming to you from just outside of Starkville, Mississippi, home of the bullfrogs. We're at North American Coal, NACO, North American Coal, the Red Hills Mine, a coal mine. It's a beautiful place. Not only we're at this coal mine, but I am joined by our entire leadership team. Uh, who has never been on a mine before, let alone a coal mine. So this is a really, really fun time for me because not only do I get to hang out on one of my favorite mine sites in the United States I've been to, but we get to educate our leadership team about what it takes to mine coal. This is one of my favorite mine sites because it basically proves everything you think you know about coal completely wrong. It's a beautiful operation. It makes perfect sense. The reclamation's fantastic. There's stands of pine trees right there. All of this was previously mine land, and now it's absolutely pristine. Uh, they have a trophy bass pond. They have a deer hunting permit system because of all the deer on the mine property. It's just, it's an incredible place. So we're gonna check out some big equipment. They got a drag line, they got a shovel here. They've got D11 dozers. We're hoping to see the coal mining. Not sure if they're gonna be mining today or not. Uh, we'll see some of the reclamation, give everybody a really good overview of the mine, and you get to join as well. So stay tuned, it should be a great, great day. So we're out here where they're stripping. We have the 2800 PH shovel right over there loading 789s. Uh, right behind me, we have the D11 fleet. Um, so the first thing that happens is the shovel comes in, strips off the first top uh, layer of, of overburden. They're hauling all of that to the reclamation area that we drove by on our way out here. Then the dozers step in, uncover the first seam of coal. They have six seams here, so they mine down push more, mine down, push more, and then the drag line takes over, and we're gonna go see the drag line next. Moves the bulk of the overburden, and then they have their working surface miner that mines the biggest seam of coal, loads it into 789s. They might have some 793s out here, but I think it's mostly a 789 fleet, 200 ton truck fleet. So the 200 ton trucks will either be hauling overburden or hauling coal. They can haul either to keep the fleet flexible. So that's where we're at right now. This is the first part of the mine. And I think next up is the drag line. When he gets locked down, we'll run up to the bucket. Y'all can take a group photo inside the bucket. And then we'll load back up and head to the reclaim. They might explain this when we get there, but to explain Myrna, it's mitigation resources of North America. The, as you guys saw, the coal mining process is very environmentally intensive and you need to have really extensive experience from an environmental restoration and reclamation standpoint. Um, so when you disrupt streams and wetlands with mining or real estate development or whatever it is, you essentially need to go buy credits which means, and those credits come from restoring the environment in other areas. 
So you're offsetting your environmental disruption with environmental reclamation in another area. So instead of just buying the credits on the open market, Myrna or NACO and North American Coal was like, why don't we create a company that specializes in just environmental reclamation for the sake of mitigation banking so they can generate their own credits um, and then use those credits for their mining operations. So a lot of the people from Red Hills and from Sabine and from the other mines moved over to Myrna to start that up because of their decades of reclamation experience. And so this project in particular is a mitigation bank to offset the disruption to a few streams caused by the Red Hills mine. So what they do is they buy this land, they come in, they restore the land to its natural state, you know, 250 years ago before humans started to mess with it. And then the government buys off on it, that generates the credit. And then he said, Red Hills with this mitigation bank is in compliance up till 2025. And the problem with the land is to you and me, it doesn't look that bad, but with agriculture, so we came into the South and we cut a lot of the old growth woods down to farm cotton, tobacco, uh, now there's a lot of pine. And so what happened in this specific area was the Army Corps built this levee system to stop farm fields from flooding, which then choked out the natural environment. And so now they're backtracking, you know, they did that 100 years ago, whatever it is. And so now they're backtracking, removing that kind of thing so the water can flow through the land as it naturally should and then they can come through, and the first step is removing all of the pine and non-native species, because pine is non-native. And then, they, so they basically scrape the land and press the reset button and burn it all. And then they come through and restore all of the natural streams, replant all native hardwood species, and then let the land essentially take over. And within you know, 20, 30, 40 years, you'll have land that is as good as new before humans started to mess with it from an agricultural standpoint. It's really, really fascinating. All right, we just finished up here at Mitigation Resources of North America. Beautiful site. Last time I was here, they were still clearing with a logging operation and dozers and there were burn piles and it was mayhem. Now it's absolutely beautiful and they're all done. So it's time to let the environment do what it does for the next few decades and the next 50 years or so. This place is gonna be unrecognizable and back to what it was 250 years ago before humans started to touch it. So. Get in the car, run to Starkville, get Jason on his way, and then we're headed to Louisiana. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Next oh one. my god, it's Aaron Witt! <laughs> what? You don't know us. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't recognize them. That's weird. Get his autograph. Yeah. <laughs>